We're here at the James Beard House, and today we're talking to Chef John Gorham of Toro Bravo. We're discussing his restaurant, his cookbook, and the Portland Dining. So tell me a little bit about Toro Bravo. Toro Bravo is a Spanish-inspired tapas restaurant. Mm. Um, I, I, we, over the years, we go to Spain more and more, and we've, mm. I think we've become more and more authentic to what Spanish cuisine is. But we're always trying to push ourselves to cook with local ingredients. Right. So, I mean, I think so that's why we say inspired. And so you do have a book coming out, and the book delves into your path to becoming a chef. Tell me a little bit about your path. My path started really young. Um, I was my mom was really young when she had me, um, and she married a, a, a man who became my stepdad. That was just we didn't really get along that well. On top of that, we moved consistently. I went I went to 21 different schools by the time I finished school, and uh, so it was kind of sink or swim with cooking. And I, I found a lot of solace in knowing that I could take care of myself and I could cook a meal. And, it, and I began to get a, a love for food young. At the same time, my grandfather lived in downtown DC, and he he was really a, a, a lover of food himself. And so we ate out at a lot of great restaurants, and he always pushed me to become a chef. And you know, the book that you have coming out details all of this. Why was it so important for you as a chef and with a restaurant like Toro Barber to be that personal and be that forthcoming? I think it's just in my personality, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> I'm a very open kind of open book person. Mm. But I also wanted to see that I, I think a lot of people see chefs who um, restaurants do very well, and they think mm -hmm. that it's all sugar coated, and you and you and you basically right. someone's just giving you money, or you got a trust fund, and it's not that way at Toro at all. We we kick, scream, and climbed <laughs> as much as we could to be who we are. I definitely wanted to inspire people to know that you know no matter where you came from or what you've done, you know if you work hard and put mm -hmm. your mind to it, and you really got to fall in love with food and, and mm. go travel and, and go see it and go be a part of it. We talk a lot about that too, of how globe trotting around the world, you, you really pick up nuances of flavors and food and technique. And you've also been expanding a little bit as well. Tell me about that. Yeah, we have two restaurants, uh, Tasty and Sons and Tasty and Alder. Mm. Uh, Tasty and Sons was a, a, a really fun spinoff of Toro Bravo. It, what it came down to was we felt like brunch was not represented well in Portland. And we wanted to be like, hey, you can be inventive and have a really fun breakfast restaurant and be a party as well during the day. So uh, the dishes really spun off from the dishes we were making for ourselves from the food at Toro for breakfast when we came in. And let's also talk about the Portland dining scene because Portland has really exploded as a center for food. And how have you seen Portland change in the years since you've been there? Well, I, I think, I. We talk about that a little bit in the book too. Portland had a, a time where you could go and open a restaurant very expensive and you could buy a house for nothing and you could get a home equity loan and, and all of a sudden you didn't need investors. That attitude is what made the Portland scene so special. Mm. And then they also, I mean, I think that something that if, if you're not from there, you'll never know is that the produce and the, and the, the, right. the you know, the, the cattle and the, the lamb and the, you know, all that is amazing there. Mm. So it was a perfect environment for a food explosion to happen. And it was the farmers. I think mm -hmm. the farmers get so much more credit. I mean, you know, you think about like Cattail Creek and Laughingstock Farms. I mean, Chez Panisse was using those products since they opened, right. you know? Mm -hmm. So you, so naturally chefs that work there, mm -hmm. we're gonna go, hey, what's going on up there? Why are we getting these best products shipped down here? Right. <laughs> so it, it drew chefs up. How do you find that you know, Spanish inspired cuisine melds with the Portland scene? Because obviously, when people think of Portland, it's not necessarily Spanish food. I, I think we sh struck a chord at the perfect time. Mm -hmm. uh, Toro opened right when the market was crashing and everything was going down and everyone was terrified for us. They were like, oh my God, you're opening a restaurant mm -hmm. now. And we hit it with a price point. Tapas are extremely right. affordable and we weren't doing minuscule plates we were doing like full-size plates that you could right. actually share and then we also we were fun we were we were a party mm -hmm. we were I, I think it was like the end of the white tablecloth era mm -hmm. and we were on top of that thank <laughs> you so much and thank you for your time really appreciate it Definitely. thanks so much for watching and for more go to potluckvideo.com